Hey guys, it's me Jenny and it's time for another Not Naked Video Style video thing. What's it? It's been a while since I've done the video. I'm out of practice and this is a video about not doing videos. Hey! Hi. Um, I just got out of the shower so my face is really dry. I need to remember to moisturise it before I go to bed. Also, I did just clean my lens but it looks like I've just made it worse so I'm sorry if I'm super duper smudgy. Hi! Um, so, what's happening at the moment with the daily vlogging? that hasn't really been daily. Um, so basically towards the end of this month I've got kind of busy, kind of just exhausted. Um, uh, my sleep schedule left to a, an excellent level of ridiculously messed up where I was taking like two hour naps here and then being awake for three hours and then taking another two hours and then being awake for another six, seven hours and then immediately going back to sleep and it was just, it was a mess. So the last couple of days I've been in reset, which is horrible absolutely horrible like staying awake consistently for like you know getting up at 6 and then not going into bed until 10 p.m. is horrible it has been a long time since I've consistently not had a lot of naps during the day um, and so far I'm on day three which you know that's not great but it's still something um, so I'm just basically sorting that out because it's got to the point where it's a bit stupid um, my sleep schedule's a bit messed up um, so yeah, that's good. Um, I'm working on that. Um, videos, I just kind of got stuck in a bit of a, um, procrastination hole where I was like, oh, I want to do a video about, like, I want to do a chopsticks, like, hair tutorial because my hair's long enough at the moment. It's, like, really, really long. It just keeps going on. Um, and I want to kind of show that off before I maybe get it cut. I don't think I'll get it cut very short, but, you know, I think of getting a trim because it is particularly long at the moment. And I want to show off my hair, so I want to do that. And I want to do those dance videos, but the trouble with the dance videos is you've got to get the right music, I've got to be in the right mood, you've got to try and get the right angle and the right sort of setting. And the thing is, the only setting that I feel comfortable dancing at the moment is my back garden, which at the moment it's a cold snap and it's freezing, and also it's the same video each time. Like for the last videos, four videos that I put, which are dance videos, it's been all in my back garden. So I kind of want to choose a different location, but I don't really feel confident filming anywhere else outdoors. And indoors, finding a location that's loud enough to actually dance is quite a challenge. Whew! Um, so dance videos are much trickier than they may seem. Um, they've got to be in the right mood, and then music, and the trouble with the music is then you've got to copyright, and then, uh, you know, if you don't use copyrighted music, then you've got to find one that syncs with the dance that you were doing. Um, so, all of that stuff. Um, comic commentaries I want to do, and again, and again, and again, but the trouble is people do get a bit bored of them if I just do them consistently, and then there is a certain point where you can't really comment, commentate on a comic commentary every single time. So that's a bit belated. Naked Truths aren't happening because Trisha's not doing them, so Naked Truths are entirely myself thing, and I know that a lot of you like them, and I know a lot of you don't like them. Um, so, gosh, my arm's getting tired. You can tell I'm out of practice. Um, so that's not happening at the moment. Um, tour tag video is still a thing. We have a Google Docs and we are going to keep doing it, but I just haven't got around to doing it. And yeah, Tor's doing really well on the daily vlogging. Tor's doing amazingly well on the daily vlogging. It's like kind of scary and impressive. Um, and she's being very resolute. Good job, her. Um, so yeah, I do want to get back to the tour tag game. Um, talk of tour. Um, I did a D and D game, which was a technically a one shot, but I do want to turned into, into a really big campaign um, and I have planned campaign stuff for a while um, with the Canadian ladies um, so that's Tor, Mabel, um, Nat, uh, 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 Kitty and Tor. Yes, so five five females playing D&D, it's amazing um, and I did record it, um, I'm in the process of editing it, it's a very very long video um, so it's taking quite some time to edit and put together because every time I open up Windows Movie Maker I can do about one or two edits before it crashes and it's a very long video um, and there's a couple of audio issues that I don't really know how to fix um, so that will be coming out at some point a all girls D&D game between me and the Canadian ladies and it was I had a really good time um, I was saying to Tor afterwards that the thing with when I DM is I get the um, you know, I start off really nervous, and I do the, okay, well, okay, so we're getting into the swing of it, everyone's having fun, I'm having fun, oh my god, this is the best ever, I'm having fun, everyone's having fun, oh god, if I'm having this much fun, what if nobody else is having fun, what if I'm the worst DM ever, what if I'm really sucking, what if everything's awful, oh god, oh god, oh god, end of the session, um, so yeah, that happened, but um, I, in hindsight, I really did have fun, it really was fun, and I really hope the ladies did have fun too, and I would like to do a long running campaign, it's going to be slightly more difficult to find times to do it, but we're going to work on that. Um, 
I've been playing some Don't Starve on the Project Chronicles, um, which was, again, one of the reasons why my sleep schedule was so messed up. Not just that incident, um, but that was one of those ones where after that I was like, I can't do this anymore. It's just, I need to get at least a month of consistency on my sleep or else I'm going to get ill. Um, so there's that. Um, I've been driving a lot, uh, my little car is driving along, I've been going back to driving lessons which is good. Work has been a-okay at the moment, it's been going pretty smoothly, um, busy but pretty smooth. Um, uh, d and we have just finished as of today, which is why I'm slightly hyped up, um, we just finished um, uh, the Mage of the Awakening. Um, kind of game run of the club um so that was amazing it was hilarious like it was just all comedy the last the last one part of the, the last the last session um that we just finished it was literally hysterical laughing for three hours i like my character made someone hallucinate that they were being smothered by a whale. Um, I summoned, I also summoned the spirit of peppiness, who was like, "Hey, you're really great. You're really great." It was, it was just, it's hard to explain, but it was hilarious. Um, and you know, I was by far the least funny person at the table. Um, everything was really just great, and so that set the bar really high for when I start DMing for the club again, which is happening in two weeks. So I've got to really crack on with that. So that's busy and keeping my mind busy and that's part of another reason why I haven't been filming videos is my brain has been so wrapped in like making a universe in which to play games <laughs> um, and like thinking about things and like puzzling out problems with plot lines and stories that like a lot of the time that I would be spending maybe doing something worth filming I'm literally just standing all going just thinking about things um, so yeah um, what else talking project chronicle something that I absolutely love um, my friend Heather who is one of the project chroniclers did a video response to my music tag link in the description it was really lovely like it's probably one of the first people who've done a visual response to me, except for Tor. Um, and it was just really nice. Like, I love it when people comment. I really do love it when people comment. I love it even more when people respond to each other's comments. Like, not necessarily to me, but to each other. That's amazing. Getting a video response is just amazing all of a sudden. Um, so check out that video and send her some love because she was amazing. And it's very difficult and it's very vulnerable to put out your music choice because they're such a personal thing. Um, so thank you for doing that. That's amazing. Sorry, my arms keep getting tired. I keep switching my hand. Um, so that's amazing. D&D &D, um, videos. So um, the vague plan at the moment is... Every other month I'm going to give a vague attempt at daily vlogging. Um, so for this month is clearly my month off. Um, that does not mean that I won't be producing videos. That was the correct number of negatives. Yes, that was. Um, so I will be producing videos this month, but they won't be on the daily. That will be if and when I do. Um, and thank you so much for bearing with me. I usually get a couple of comments like, where are you? Have you died? And you guys just, at this point, you all know I'm an inconsistent rabble of a mess. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, so for this month, it will just be if and when videos as I go. I want to catch up on some common countries. I want to do one or two videos here. I want to do a talk tag game, blah, blah, blah. Next month, March, I will start again attempting daily vlogging and see whether or not I can get to a month. Just one month every other month um, and see how I go. Because the thing is, with last with January, there are some videos that I am really proud of. I put in a lot of effort, it took a bit more time. I got stressed out because it was too much to do all at once. But making a video every single day is actually really good for, like, you know practicing those creative kind of cogs um, so I do want to go back to doing it so I'm going to start that again in March but for now I'm just going to take a break catch up on things get my brain back in check get my sleep schedule sorted out sort out my games sort out some creative stuff um, I've got a DD and um, the long running home game D&D &D. so <laughs> so much going on the home running um, D&D &D game which um, my friends are running um, and they've just had a baby um, uh, that's again sat Saturday this week um, it'll be our first one of the year and the first one post baby um, so yeah I'm gonna go see them I'm gonna finally give them their Christmas presents and uh, meet little little baby for the first time um, and I'm very excited about that so <sighs> Home game, club game, Canadian game, and newbie game is still in the works. We haven't worked out a time level yet, but it will happen. I am going to go to bed. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment. I've said a lot in this, and, like, yeah, lots going on. There are a lot of videos that I've had in my brain that I've been procrastinating about because I just haven't had time to think about it or enough energy or enough whatevers. Um, I'm back for now. We shall see. I will be back in full force in March, but in the meantime, if and when. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment, and I'll see you guys all when I do. Bye 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 bye